Hello everybody, this is Slim Kirby with Let's Play The Maze Game. Now, The Maze Game is actually a game created by my good friend Shadow Mario 41 He created this a long time ago, and I played the, through the game once, it was pretty interesting. And then immediately I got the idea later on to do a Let's Play of this game, since I had software which could uh, film the screen of my computer, so I decided that, you know what, I'll film The Maze Game. Uh, this is going to be a short little project, as I mentioned in my Pikmin LP. So let's get started. Let's get started with the maze game. Here it goes. Yes, it's a maze. Uh, the goal is you want to collect all the checkered flags, or you touch the checkered flag to move the to the next floor of the maze. Uh, the flag is obviously the checkpoint or ending mark and um, as this is pretty easy but as you go up floors uh, more interesting things happen um, as you can see we got some other items along with the checkered flag uh, these can give you more points you don't have to collect these items but if you want a high score you should probably collect these not that there's a competition or anything but whatever Sorry if the video quality is kind of bad. Uh, just trying to work with the setup. Okay, next we have to collect blue diamonds. Uh, when you collect all the blue diamonds on the screen, the blue note blocks will disappear. Because as you can see, it's currently blocking the checkered flag. This cannot stand, so the green Care Bear reject must quickly collect all the blue diamonds before... Well, I don't know. I don't think he... I don't think you can die from a time limit. I don't remember there being a time limit. Anyways, uh, a few things I want to discuss. Um, this game does have save states, and I am going to be using them for some of the future levels. And um, as you can see right now, the sizing window changed, so I had to adjust that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um... Yeah, uh, I will be using save states in some of the future levels. Okay, to get rid of the brown blocks, you want to collect yellow coins. Uh, once you collect all the yellow coins, the brown blocks will disappear. Okay, other things I want to talk about. Um, I'm not going to be updating this project as uh, normally as I would my other projects. Just because... Eh, it's kind of a hassle to actually make the videos for this. What would normally take me about a half an hour to work on a Pikmin video takes about an hour and a half to work on this. And I have to see I have to edit out all the failures and all the save state usage and stuff. Um, also, as you can tell, the audio is uh, an are Nintendo games or video games that Shadow Mario 41 likes. Uh, they're not all Nintendo games. They're all Nintendo games so far, but you may find something different along the road. And uh, speaking of the music, um, it kind of gets out of sync with the video, which I noticed in my uh, Let's Play Hearts and uh, during a psychology lecture video. But it happens. Okay, now we have to actually deal with enemies. Uh, we have little um, blue and white ghosts. They almost look like Pac-Man ghosts. Uh, blue ones m move vertically, and uh, wait, no, they move horizontally. What am I talking about? And uh, white ones move hor vertically. Jeez, I am not good at that. Okay, this is a pretty simple stage. Just move as you normally would. Also, something about this game, if you want to download this game, um, I can give you the link. I'm sure that Shadow Mario 41 wouldn't mind if you download his game. But, um, word of warning, the hit detection for the enemies is really, really sensitive. It's, uh, even when it looks like you don't hit an enemy, uh, it, it registers as you hitting the enemy. So, yeah, you have to be very careful because... 
for a short passageway, you'd think to move like as soon as uh, the ghost moves to the next square. Well, they have to actually be in that next square's radius because if any part of their um, sprite is touching the square you're in, um, you basically have to start the level over again. And if you do get hit by enemies, you have to start the whole floor over again, and you also lose points for every uh, death, basically. Let's navigate around this, these little ghosts. They shouldn't be bothering Care Bears, they should be bothering Pac-Man. Okay, this is floor 6, I believe. Floor 7 is ridiculous. I'm going to tell you right now. Floor 7 is really, really ridiculous. There is no reason why that floor should even be on this, uh, this, far, this early into the game. Look at this. This seriously took me about one, two, three, four, five, six. This took me about seven different save states. As you can probably tell by watching this. And I had about like ten minutes of footage of me just trying to beat this level. It's not incredibly hard if you just look at all the ghost movements, but still, it's very annoying. And just the fact that this level is so far, so early in the game, too. Uh, also, I should mention that there are 40 levels in this game. There is a hidden level 41 that you can actually do once you beat level 40, but it's not required to beat the game. So attempt it at your own risk. And obviously, uh, there are 41 levels because the creator of the game is Shadow Mario 41. Yes, he is that nerdy. Speaking of Shadow Mario 41, go to his channel to watch Epic Marth Counters and his uh, top five best battles in Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Okay, I had to do a little advertising for him. Which means he should do some advertising for me, but I don't think it's really gonna help because I'm a lot more popular than he is at this moment. Okay, no new features yet, but as you can see, we have a new road ahead of us. So take it a little slow at first. So yeah, a lot of these early puzzles are just collect all the diamonds and uh, coins to open up all the blocks while avoiding the ghost, and that's pretty much the majority of the game, but uh, they'll introduce a few other puzzles and a few other obstacles down the road, which can really make this very, very difficult. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if one stage just took me one filming. But getting back to the hit detection and the... Yeah, as I said, the hit detection between you and the ghosts and the other enemies in the game, it's very, very sensitive. Like, there was basically one level where you basically had to keep restarting the level until the enemy moved in a certain way before you could actually, you know, finish the level. Because the detection was that bad. Uh, he told me he fixed that for this game, uh, for this version of the game. So hopefully I won't have to deal with that. And as you can see there, I used a save state because I died later. Oh, oh my gosh, I actually died. I didn't edit that out. Oh well, I didn't lose very much. Just lost about five seconds, no big deal. So I'm probably going to end the recording after this uh, level is over. Again, I'm not sure when I'll up to upload the second part of this. I kind of just wanted to upload it to see how it would go and how my uh, recording software would work for this game. It works pretty well. I mean, uh, it looks a little um, small when I'm watching it, but that's because of the uh, Movie Maker. The Movie Maker is kind of um, downsizing it. 
but it, it has it comes out a lot better quality um, as far as like what you can see on YouTube so it's it's worse quality in other aspects but in what I'm referring to it it won't be a problem okay we're trying to collect those little what are those things are they like crystals or something I don't know They're Shadow Mario's Shadow Crystals of Light. I know that doesn't make very much sense. Shadow Crystals of Light, but whatever. That's what I'm going with. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do for this. I think I have to go up there. Yeah. Okay. Music stopped, and uh, getting ready to end this level, and that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's play the Maze Game Part 1. See you next time when we go for Part 2 at Stage 9. Later.